Hello everybody, I'm gonna jump into this really quick Gigi's Nail Co. Uh, sent over these gorgeous dips for me. It's going to be the Monday match up today and it is going to also be for breast cancer awareness. Um, I don't know if anyone here knows, but Kim, the owner of Gigi's Nail Co has been battling breast cancer and recently completed her last radiation treatment. These water slides that I'm showing you are an exact representation of a wrap that she wore during her treatments. Here she is wearing it in this photo and she matched the pattern exactly. So that is going on my ring finger and that is just her way of saying goodbye and I'm done with you because I've beat breast cancer. So I'm really excited to be doing this in honor of her and all the other women in the world who are battling breast cancer, have battled it, have won those who have also lost the battle. Um, it's really important to me because my mother is a survivor, so I've talked about that in my breast cancer awareness video from last year, which I will link for you guys. Um, so this black is called Gold Digger and it is going on my middle finger. <laughs> sort of my way of saying F you cancer. <laughs> um, and that was an inside joke that she and I had. I kind of told her that's what I was going to do because uh, yeah. We all kind of feel that way, I'm sure. So I'm gonna put Gold Digger on my middle finger. My ring finger is where the decal is going to go. And then I'm going to do a scrub ombre with the light pink called All In This Together. And the darker pink that is called Dive. I'm gonna do a scrub ombre and we'll get into that in a little bit. So I am going to apply this. Now this is a glitter and foil dip so it has gold foils and it has glow gold glitter in it <clears throat> getting tongue-tied sorry guys I do have allergies right now I am not sick but if you if you hear like in my voice and that I sound nasally it's because you know fall seasonal allergies are kicking my butt again so <laughs> I apologize for that um, but yeah so I'm pouring over as I usually do for my foils and then I am going to do another layer by, uh, I'm gonna put the entire jar into this cupcake liner and I'm gonna lay my finger flat and then do a good uh, foil placement. Well, I'm getting tongue tied. Ooh. Foil placement as needed. Okay, all right, I'm gonna take a break and let you watch, I'll be back in a few.
Okay, so I went ahead and I clear capped and I uh, activated that black nail because I just did not want that black to contaminate any of the other colors. So that is nice and solid now and it will not ruin anything. <laughs> So now I am going to apply that light pink that I was talking about all in this together. That is going to go on my ring finger as just a solid nail so that I can apply the decal over it later on. Then I am going to get into the scrub ombre I was talking about and I'll be back when it's time for that. Now let's get into this ombre. So um, this pink is, this lighter pink, all in this together, is is a nice light pink. It's, it's, it's like, it's not a baby pink, it's more like a neutrally pink, um, but I love it. And it has some gold, really fine gold shimmer and glitters in it, which makes it extremely pretty. Um, but it's so light that I can actually do a scrub ombre with this darker pink. So that's what we're going to do here. So I've applied one, one layer of the lighter pink. Now don't do what I'm doing right here. And that is going in too soon with my brush. And I smudged the first layer, the pink. I, it was just too soon. So make sure you wait until your base is mostly dry before you start to scrub. Otherwise, you're just going to scrub away the base color. So don't do what I just did. I learned my lesson though, and I don't do that again. <laughs> That's the, but the thing you'll see later on is that even if you do do make, do do, <laughs> even if you do make that mistake, you can go back and correct it. Like with the second layer, it will actually cover it right up and you won't even notice. So don't fret if you do make that mistake. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna show you that later on. So I'm gonna do this scrub ombre on my thumb, my pinky, and my index finger. And that's what we're gonna do here. And I don't think I make you watch all of it. I think I only showed you like the first layer and then I'm gonna come back and show you how to scrub into clear to make that pink a bit brighter and deeper. So we're going to watch quietly. I'm not going to talk your ear off right now. I will be back and I'll talk a little bit more later.
So here I am applying the second layer to that pinky that I kind of messed up earlier. And you're gonna see that with this second layer, I waited a little bit longer and I kind of just started pressing the pink, the darker pink into the tip of my nail. And then once I was sure that it was dry enough, that's when I started to scrub. So I started off by like gently dabbing and just putting the powder there to kind of get started. And then once I realized, yes, it's actually dry, I started to rub a little bit more aggressively <laughs> to get that pigment to, because basically with the scrub ombre, what you're doing is you're taking the darker, the darker dip, which has a darker pigment in it, and you're staining the lighter dip with that darker pigment. That's it and that's all. Uh, so you just want to make sure that your base is dry enough that when you scrub to leave that deposit of pigment behind that you are not scrubbing away your base color. <laughs> but now to ensure that that darker color is deeper and richer and more noticeable, I'm going to do my last layer of that color into scrub, I'm going to scrub it into a layer of clear. Whew. <laughs> I'm going to scrub it into a layer of clear because clear has no pigment, right? So the only pigment, hey. maybe I should just give up right now. <laughs> uh, okay, let's try that again. Basically, all I'm trying to say is that clear has no pigment, so it will pick up the pigment from the darker color a lot more than a dip that already has some pigment in it. All right, does that make sense? Okay, great. Let's move on. <laughs> cool. While y'all are watching me finish up this ombre, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, breast cancer and breast cancer awareness and mostly just want to say this. In my conversation with Kim, one of the things that she made clear was that um, sometimes doctors don't get it right. And sometimes you need to be your own advocate. And sometimes there may be a situation where you just need to say, no, I need more answers. You say this is okay, but I don't think that it is. And we need to look into it more because she had uh, actually a situation where the larger lumps that they had found in her breast were precancerous. And it was the smaller lumps surrounding those larger lumps that actually had cancer in them. The doctor was not concerned about the smaller lumps and did not want to biopsy them. But the radiologist did not agree. And this made Kim more uh, concerned and she actually pushed for the biopsy. And, and it's a good thing she did because if she hadn't had the mastectomy, those cancerous lumps would still be inside of her body and she'd be getting sick from that. So um, just be just be adamant. If you feel like something is wrong, if you feel like you don't just want one opinion, go get a second opinion. Be an advocate for yourself and be aware of your body and do your breast checks and get your mammograms and do all those things. I already spoke, as I said before, last year about my mother and her experience with breast cancer and beating that monster of a disease. But um, I am also extremely high risk. Um, my mother had breast cancer. Both of my grandmothers had breast cancer. And so because of that, I go about every six months to a year and have a mammogram. Um, and yeah, sometimes they see things and they're like, Ooh, let's take more images. And I panic a little, but you know what? Yes. Take more images. Yes. Do a biopsy, do whatever you need to do because I don't want to have to um, worry that I'm not doing everything that I can to make sure that I know what's going on with my body and that I am 
you know, taking care of my health and taking charge of my own breast health. So I implore you all to do the same. Um, you know, nobody, nobody is immune to this. Everyone has the risk, even men have the risk of getting breast cancer. So please just, um, you know, I think I, I said similar things in my, my video last year, but um, breast cancer is treatable. Breast cancer is beatable. So let's beat it. Let's, let's just make it extinct. Can we? <laughs> let's make sure that no one has to die from it because preventative care and making sure that you know what's going on with your own body and that you're taking all of the precautions you need to. Okay, I have said enough about that, I think, but thank you all for listening to my little spiel because I love you all and I want you to be around for as many years as possible. Now I have activated my ring finger and I am doing a little bit of cleanup. I'm not doing all of my filing and shaping right now. Um, mostly I'm just cleaning up and I'm gonna buff it smooth so that I can apply a sticky base coat and get this decal on this nail. All right, so that's why you see me using my e-file. I left this part in, I don't, I'm still trying to figure, I have a new, oh, I wanted to mention. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm a little scatterbrained today. Um, I have a new setup for my camera, and so the angle might feel slightly different. Not a lot different, but maybe slightly different. And I just I want to know, do you guys notice a difference? Is it better? Is it worse? Let me know, because I'm kind of liking the ease of use this way, and I feel like I'm in frame a lot better, and so, yeah. So we're trying this out but let me know what you guys think. Um, anyway, <laughs> uh, I'm hoping that with this new angle that eventually I'll be able to do a filing and shaping video because I think I'll be able to stay in frame a little better with this new setup. Okay, let's get back to what I was originally talking about and applying this decal. So my process for this one is this. I cut out the decal as close to the print as I possibly can, and now I am cutting and shaping the bottom portion that will be next to my cuticle area because um, it was a little bit too narrow at the bottom there. So I cut it uh, to the shape of my cuticle, and now I am applying a sticky base coat. Um, and then I am going to apply this decal kind of like I did the decal sheet from the one of my first um, Halloween -y videos that I did with Cosmic Nails and their uh, decal sheets. I'm going to link that for you guys in case you missed it. Um, but I'm not going to soak this decal. I'm going to wet it with a Q-tip uh, like I did in that video. And then I am going to apply it um, in a similar fashion. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. I'm gonna wet this until the decal slides up and down on the backing, and then I'm going to um, push it down so that only part of the decal is sticking out, and then I'm going to stick it. <laughs> I'm saying a lot of stick, stick, stick. Stick it to my nail, and you'll see what I mean in just a second. Um, but also, I wanted to mention that on this ring finger, I did not encapsulate and clear yet because I'm going to encapsulate the decal. This is not something that I usually do, but I wanted to try it out because when I did do uh, the decal sheet, see how I did that? I just pulled it down so that a little lip was sticking out and I just stuck it to the bottom of my nail where my cuticle area was and then slid it off. And that just lined it up perfectly. But as I was saying, um, I had trouble when I did my uh, decal sheets from Cosmic Nails because I didn't encapsulate that in clear and I only topped it with, did I do? I think I did gel. Did I do gel? I either did gel or Geez, I don't even remember. <laughs> but 
But anyway, no, I'm pretty sure it was gel and it did not, it did not work out very well. They, they, they uh, didn't last as long as I had hoped they would um, because the decal itself wasn't protected enough. I must have missed an edge or something. And after I showered, part of the design kind of bled and it turned white and it just wasn't pretty after a couple of days. So I thought I would try um, encapsulating the decal of, because you know, you do a full nail decal. I mean, I haven't done them very often, so I didn't know, but I encapsulated in clear this time and we'll see if, uh, we'll see if this works a little bit better. But anyway, so that's what I did here. Um, I actually, use a little bit of acetone to get off all the excess decal and that worked out really really well it removed very easily and now i'm just going to apply a quick layer of base and let that dry while i am encapsulating the other nails Whew. and now i'm going to stop talking because i'm going to encapsulate and clear and then when i come back we will um you know what? I'm not going to come back. I'm lying. <laughs> I'm going to encapsulate and clear. I'm going to file and buff and shape off camera. And I'm going to come back when it is time to top coat everything. No, I'm going to come back for a matte top coat. <laughs> Boy, I am forgetting what I'm doing here. I'm going to come back for a matte top coat on the black foil nail. And then, and then we will top coat everything. <laughs> it's gonna be okay Jess it's gonna be okay we go like I promised here comes the matte top coat all right so I am applying a base coat right now this is from Luxa polish and I decided I wanted to try a new matte top coat and I saw Tabitha Scott I don't know if any of you watch her videos but um she's an amazing nail tech and she used this this matte top coat on a stunning stunning manny i saw her do a couple of maybe it was a week or two ago a couple weeks ago and i was like "Ooh, that is one nice matte top coat so i ordered it <laughs> it's a velveteen matte top coat like i said from luxa polish i will link it down in the description box for you um but yeah i'm gonna apply that and i'm going to actually for this matte top coat, the base coat I, I cured for 30 seconds. For this matte top coat, I actually cured for a minute and a half, a full 90 seconds, um, because that is what the instruction said to do, 60 to 90 seconds. So I went with the full 90 just to be on the safe side. And now that that is done and cured and looking very matte and velvety, 
I am going to <laughs> I'm going to top coat all the other nails with my dip top coat. And I am using my Cascade Color Works dip liquids today. I still am somewhat obsessed with this top coat. It is super duper shiny. So yeah, I'm gonna finish that up and I'll come back for cuticle oil and my final, final thoughts. Okay, we've got BCA in the house on both hands, two separate manis. <laughs> the other one is going to upload on Wednesday, the one that is on my right hand. That will, I promise, it will upload. Um, but my goal is to upload it on Wednesday because there is an Instagram collaboration going on on Wednesday and I'm going to post for that to show my support. So, um, and that Manny is bombshell nails. So, um, uh, there's a little story behind that and I will get to that in my next video. So don't miss it. <laughs> um, so I just want to say a big, huge thank you to Kim for including me in this collab with her and her crew. I am just honored to have been asked and I hope that I did her proud. I am extremely, extremely proud of her. Congratulations, Kim, on being cancer free and for kicking cancer's butt. You are a strong warrior and one tough lady. And now I'm applying my cuticle oil in the scent Sweet Tea by Bombshell Nails. It reminds me a lot of my mom because she's from the South and uh, they drink a lot of sweet tea down there. So <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm applying it under my nails as well. Lately, I have had extremely dry skin and uh, the weather change, I don't know. Maybe I've had a reaction to something. I've been needing a lot more moisture underneath my nails uh, around my fingertips and stuff like that. So I am being extra generous with this cuticle oil today. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Take a look at Gigi's Nail Co. today. Her Breast Cancer Awareness Matchup Monday is going live today. So show her some love over there and I hope that everyone will continue to take care of yourselves and stay healthy and strong. And don't forget to be an advocate for yourself with your doctors because they may be doctors, but you know your body better than anyone. So be strong, be firm and stand up for yourself if you feel like they've missed something or you feel like you need a second opinion. You have a right to that. 
Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this video and guess what? I'll be back again on Wednesday with another installment. Bye-bye now.